Hello everyone, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in the Outer Worlds. Now we're going to do another stream today to just see what we can uh, do. Uh, I think we ended up, we've got to go see Reese, so let's check our journal. And yeah, we've got all the others that we've started completed. Uh, comes now the power, and so that is... Uh, we got to return to read. It's probably going to be pissed off. So, uh, yeah, let's start heading back. Uh, let's get a gun out just in case. So, I'm sure we're going to hit something along the way. And yep, I'm sure the town is Edgewater is not doing so well. We could go straight, but let's walk around the, the city here. Let's see what we got. I'm surprised there hasn't been any more marauders. We've cleaned them out. But we haven't uh, really uh, any any new ones haven't spawned. So maybe they don't spawn after you clear them out. All right. Probably do need to hit a vending machine when I see one along the way. Now, all right, what do we got? Anything up here? Is this the community center? Oh, there, yep, there's a marauder. All right, let's see. Let's uh, let's go down a little bit here. I don't know how many we're going to hit. Come on, you guys have just got to start dying a little bit here. Yeah, there's one. Ooh, F. Oh, come, you're not... There we go. Perk available. A level up. All right, that's nice. How you doing, girl? Yeah. All right, let's uh, take everything. And we'll clean these guys out. And we'll do our level up. All right. All right, hang on, girl. Let's uh, get into the skilled trees here. Points available. Uh, well, let's put one into there. Uh, we need to keep this dialogue going. Put a couple of them there. And stealth. One there. Tech, one there. Another one into leadership, that leaves four. Let's hit another dialogue, I think. Uh, we're getting close. Let's, uh, yep. 
One there, that leaves three. Uh, another one in the guns, yep. Tech. And let's put another one in the dialogue. There we go. All right. E to apply. Uh, did it apply it? I guess it did. All right, perks. And what do we want for perks? So we already got the strider. Walk speed's a little faster. Toughness, uh, 50% base health. Uh, vendor prices, not so worried about that. Tactical time dilation, surely this is a normal. I haven't used that much. So, traveler. Sometimes you're the only person you can trust, and that's okay. Deal increased damage when adventuring alone. All right. Cheetah. High maintenance. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. All right. That's good. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench site alignment tool is much more accurate. 15% uh, companion critical chance. Applied science. Uh, it's based on the number of flaws you have. Yeah, okay. You have a base armor rating, which adds to any armor you wear. Well, that sounds pretty good. A few bits more. Well, pack mule. Let's do this one. Yep. Let's go E. All right, accept. All right, so let's go back to the skills. Make sure that all applied. I think it all did like it was supposed to. All right. Uh, reputation. So let's see. Uh, positive. Yep. I better be with the deserters. Spacer's choice neutral. Eh, it's not. Uh, I'm a little bit on the negative side, but I still got some positive there. All right. Okay, well, let's escape. Let's get on down the road. Nothing there. Uh, we were in here. Yep. I think these guys are already cleaned out. Yep. All right, well... Let's go see Reese. Oh, I see some more Marauders up here. Let's uh, try this gun here. He's out of there. One more Marauder. That's the last of them. All right. All right, let's clean these guys out. Oh, nothing. Uh, heavy ammo. We'll take that. Should have some heavy. No, well. I thought there was another one over here. I thought there was three of them. Which ones did I... Huh. Well, maybe one didn't have anything. All right, well, let's get on down the road.
Let's see what we can do. Okay. All right, we can holster this thing. I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. All right. Well, we got to go see Reese. Uh, actually, I don't think this is where we need to go. Where do we need to go? That's where we gotta go? Reese. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Wow. Uh, ah, I don't know. Let's see. It's not personal. I needed to power. Yeah, that, that's for sure. I don't owe you an explanation to teach you a lesson. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. You're all slaves to the space of choice. I'm liberating you. Life is full of betrayals. I'm just a... Nah, you're a horror. No. Uh, Adeline had the right idea. I had to make you see that. Adelaide? Adelaide wants nothing more than to see this town suffer. To see me suffer. All you've done is satisfied her hatred. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about all this read. Ah, uh, one. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. All right. Well, we got out of that. Comes now the power. All right. So we're, ah, all right. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Okay. I guess it's time we're going to head back to the ship. Return to the unreliable. Come on, girl. You going with me? Done well so far. Oh, let's see. I need to get out of here. Yeah. All right. Are you hiding in there? Mr. Dobson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Are we getting paid or not? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. All right. Probably not much to see or do there. Ah, where in the hell was I vending machine? Well, you know what? I think... Uh, where's that general store at? Maybe over here? Yeah. 
I can get rid of stuff there. Sealed. Uh-oh. I guess I'm not going to be able to... The barber shop? I haven't been here yet. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. <laughs> oh, this... I can't possibly cut anyone's hair in the dark. Ah, uh, let's see something. Go ahead. What do you know about the plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance <laughs> this year. Excuse me. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Uh. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Who's I? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Uh. Seem pretty. Late. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. Okay. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. All right. Well, I guess that's all for now. Damn. I need a vending machine. Uh, where is a vending? The cantina. Maybe I can sell to her. There we go. Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. <laughs> we'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. Yeah. I guess I can't sell anything to you. All right. All right, fine. I guess I'm just going to have to have all this. All right, well, it is what it is. We'll head on down the road. E. Canid examined. All right. Yeah, this is the way I came in. Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. All right. Yeah, uh, we better pull the old gun out coming out down here. I have a feeling right around the corner down through here, we're going to face some trouble. Well, maybe not. All right. Wasn't too bad. Is this your ship? Oh, my star. She is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. 
Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's choice. Company expects me back at my post. Uh, let's go too. I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out and I had to take it apart. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Well, certainly. Let's see, are you sure Reed won't mind you leaving with me? I know, I know. Mr. Thompson said I was to chaperone you about the veil. He wrote me out to you like I was Spacer's choice property. Well, they may think I am, but I'm not. Yeah, Mr. Thompson's got a temper. But I'm more scared of missing out than I am of him. I don't want to lose my one chance at seeing the stars. All right, girl. I'll be glad to have you come along. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> All right, girl. Well, let me put the gun away. Let's get on board the ship. Okay. You on, girl? All right, good deal. Okay. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Okay. What can I do for you, Captain? I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Uh... Well, let's see. I think I have enough in engineering. Yeah, I think so. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll leave now. All right. Follow me, Pavarotti. I might need you on this. Uh, up the ladder. Work. Oh, workbench discovered. Where? Where? Oh. All right. I now have my own workbench. Up sawed off shotgun. All right. Well, let's go get this installed. All right. E install. All right, take it to anywhere. Speak with Ada. Keep the engine room running. All right, let's get down out of here. Okay. I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Okay. I'm prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Oh. Well, I don't think there's anything left that I need to take care of. Let's let's get out of here. Oh boy, good heavens. Oh, there we go. All right, against all odds, it takes flight. 
received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, good. I've been waiting ah, to hear from you. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Ah. Never been better, Doc. Never been better. Good. Great. Excellent. Let's move on. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. Okay. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. Oh. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Uh, fine. Why do I need on a planet? Slow down, you're asking me to get involved. Or I could put a couple of light years between us. Uh, can't I land somewhere outside of Stellar Bay? That's two. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Oh, great. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Okay. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Right. Let's see. Right. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials okay. are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology. Okay. Years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. All right, you want to uh, explain that to me? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? You said this has limitations. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. All right. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Oh, great. All right, let's go. Let's, I'll just put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If yeah. we put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Okay. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart... Please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Okay. I got it. Alright, well first... Oop. First, I need to do this. The 
journal. Ah, uh, completed. Passage to anywhere. Uh, I need to retrieve the holographic shroud. Wonder where that's at. All right, well, let's see if we can find it. 12, 13. Assuming the, this is the captain's quarters up here. Or is this the... Uh, that's the holographic shroud. All right. Projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas. Provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. Well... I'm no stranger to that, for crying out loud. Okay. All right. All right, this is the captain's quarters. I can sleep. Uh, probably need to. Let's sleep for eight hours. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey. So I can put stuff in here. All right, so this is my gonna be my storage area. Uh, what do I need to put in there? Mock apple, natural health regeneration. Oh, okay, I gotta use some of this stuff actually. Uh, injectable healing enhancer. Healing heals 25% health over two. Oh, okay. How much uh, space do I have? I still got space. All right, so the inventory is not too awful bad yet. Uh, all right, that's fine. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, well. I so enjoy watching you sleep for hours on end, Captain. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. Oh, God. Really? Really? All right. Where do I got to go? Where am I? Oh, Gladys. Gladys. Okay. E, the unreliable. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Uh, Phineas's lab. Okay. Terra 2. All right, so how do I know where I need to go? Monarch. Well, those are locked. Are just asteroids. Hmm. I know reminds names of houses captained by by descendants of the original. Passage to anywhere. Groundbreaker docking bay. Select destination on Groundbreaker. I guess that's the place I gotta go. Oh, I get it. Okay, Groundbreaker. Spacer's Choice Travel Advisory. Welcome to the systems map. Here you can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked. Though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. All right. After the groundbreaker. Okay. So... All right. 
So I'm guessing... Can we talk? Oh, uh, sure. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lane Tennyson? Uh... What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. All right. Yeah, sure. We can head over to engineering now. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... I absolutely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. Okay. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Uh, sure. We can head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Uh... Break's over. All right. Well, dang it. Now I got to see what I got. What do we got? Companion quest. Drinking. Introduce Pavarotti to Junalee Tennyson. All right. Well, let's let's put that one in. Okay. Come on, girl. Party selection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He continue. You mean I can have more than just one? Oh, okay. Captain. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Yeah. That's not the point. This happened just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying. All right. Oh, hey, these are vendings. Okay. Hang on. I got to do a vending machine here. Sell. So I got crap to get rid of. Telescoping staff. Yeah, we can sell that. Let's see. And we can get rid of that. 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 I am selling this crap, right? All right. Not just shifting around, right? Oh, no. All right. There we go. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Shock cannon I still have. I haven't used it. Assault rifle. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that. Uh... Get rid of that one. Alright, that's good. Now yeah, let's got this crap to get rid of. Uh workers outfit. Yeah, get rid of that. Control armor. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Reconditioned exo helmet. 
rid of that. 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 Alright, junk. We got rid of junk. And, uh... Let's just Z sell it all. Old Z to sell junk. Nice, okay. All right. Okay, Captain Leonard. Identification, please. Uh... Hmm. Uh, you've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Ah. Uh, how do I uh, resolve this? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why my ship... Was impounded? Most of that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. <laughs> oh... Great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in Sick Bay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Shipment? A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. All right, I got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, what can you tell me about? Uh, yeah, I probably better find out a little bit more about this guy. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Uh, so. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like. And that terrifies them. Oh. Well, let's see. So why can't the Groundbreakers and the board just work together? This really must be your first time here. There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks. And we sure as shit ain't about to do that. Okay. I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we make do all right. So far, anyway. All right. Well, that's thanks for the info. Sure thing. Uh,
Let's try this. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Uh, something a little more local, maybe? Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. Okay. Kitten? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. All right. Got it. Have it ill. That's my job, after all. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. All right. Let's see. I guess, uh... Well, let's find out about Sublight. They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. All right. Hey, that's all I need to know about work. All right. Uh, see you around. Be seeing you. All right. I got enough. Uh... All right. Let's figure out what in the hell we got set up here uh journal all right all right so that one's still in solution vital so let's introduce Pavarotti to Tennyson all right can we get to there guess this is the way we go Oh, another workbench. This weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one really All right. Holy. Fizzles, purple berry crunch, triple gel flakes, and purple berry flavored power nugget. Now with twelve percent more crunch. Oh boy! Look at this place. All right. Groundbreaker. Yeah. Looks like a very interesting place, all right. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Can you see this no man? For Warrant offers for information needed to the capture of Lord of Paris, City of Rome. Report any sightings to your local board. Auntie's kitchen discovered. Is that where I need to go? No. Well, hell. Great. That's Auntie's kitchen. I wonder if I've got to go down? No, that doesn't look good. Uh, engineering. Oh, engineering. Maybe in here? Here we go. Yeah. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt those XF 411s and an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Let me talk to this girl. June Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, I'll, <clears throat> I'll do whatever I can to help keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. 
Uh. <laughs> uh. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. I'll try to do my best. Okay. All right. Uh. Yeah, let's get this going, Pavarotti. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Uh... Let's see... Parvati, don't be shy. Time off if you need to compare notes in person. Silently encourage Parvati. Uh... Right! In person! Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. Oh. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Uh Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Uh it's kind of warm in here. What's it like? Uh, you know, faith in the board. Uh, three. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Well, how do you keep the board at a safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Okay. Uh, how about one? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Uh, how would you fix them? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Uh. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Okay. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard... We'll be cooked alive. Uh, let's try this. Is there a way I can help? I... We'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Uh, back bays... Am I supposed to... Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Okay. Couldn't we... Have you tried sending... Uh... Alright. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Ooh! All right, another level up. Okay, well, let me get out of the way here. Let's. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. 
The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Oh. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hardworking citizens. Sure, sure. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon College. Right. Okay. All right, I have points to use. All right, so let's see. Dialogue, that's that's doing well for me. We got to put a at least a couple into there. Uh, I might need some stealth at some point. Uh, I'm guessing leadership's going to play a part. Some tech. Okay, my engineering and science is going up. Maybe one more there. Okay. Better put another couple into guns. Ah. Dodge distance. Effectoration. I better put something into that. And. Let's see. Ah. Uh, one more there. All right. And let's apply this. Yep, let's accept all of that. Now let's go to perks. I should have... Oh, no perks, just... Okay. Well, let's see. How long have I been playing? Uh, it might be a pretty good time to stop here. We've gotten off of Edgewater, and we have managed to get to Groundbreaker. We've picked up some missions that'll be good to start with when we get back. So I think I'm going to call it good right here. I don't know when I'm going to stream this again. Uh, I might try to stream it once during the week. Uh, but as I said, no particular schedule at this point in time. And for those that are watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, with that, uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And we'll see you all in the next video.